In this video, I'm going to show you two tools to help you better manage your YouTube thumbnails and streamline the workflow with your team. You might have seen Frame.io before. It allows you to upload videos and collaborate with your video editors by providing them feedback. You can leave comments and your video editor can look at the comment with the visual feedback. But what you might not know is you can also use Frame.io with images like thumbnails. You can see here it's loaded up three thumbnails for an upcoming video. And just like a video, I can click into that thumbnail and provide visual indicators for my designers and leave comments and those comments will link back to that visual feedback. And so I can simply go through each of the different thumbnails, provide that feedback, and then my graphic designer will actually get a notification and will be able to open these up and they can make their changes and upload new versions. And what's cool is they can take each of these images and drag it over the original to make sure we stack the versions on top of each other. And now you'll see each of these thumbs has a version associated with it. And that way, as I review the thumbnails, I can always look back at the original version. Once we've decided on a final design, I can come up here to the status and click approved. Once I click approve, this is actually going to trigger a automation inside Zapier from frame.io. There's a few different actions that I take, but it ultimately it uploads it into a tool called Airtable. And within Airtable, I can track all of my content here. You're just seeing the YouTube videos with the different thumbnails. You can also quickly see the status of the copy, the image, the media, and the title with direct links to all of those. If I click this, it's going to take me directly back to the thumbnail. And so between frame.io where I can collaborate with my graphic designer and then Airtable to manage all all of the videos and all of the specific assets and the status, I can really streamline that entire YouTube thumbnail creation and collaboration with my team. And then I can ultimately post these out to YouTube directly from Airtable. So there you go. There are two tools that you can use to streamline your entire YouTube thumbnail process from collaboration with your designers to organizing all of those files with the copy and the video in Airtable, and then ultimately using Airtable to publish it out to social media. So I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video where I go in depth on how to build out your own Airtable system like you saw in this video here. I talk about how to automate 99% of your content workflow. Check out the video right here. I'll see you there.